So the in con colony management is to I mean uh, to sustain uh, the livelihood of your uh, beehive. Okay. So you want to make sure that your hun your single bee colony stay strong and active. So in nature, we colony is vulnerable to uh, attack and also to illness like disease uh, so that's why we need to make sure that our colony is staying staying strong and active uh, there are few colony inspection uh, step or point that you must uh, pay attention first the period how pe how regular you should check so at least once a week okay so you don't you don't you don't have to think that once a week is uh, quite troublesome if you compare to to other kind of livestock like cattle for example so cattle you have to take care every day eh? water the, the the water the food okay every day right single be basic, basically they 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 find the the food themselves but of course you still have to find or look for the sign of intrusion okay like okay if there are lizard dropping so gecko is quite a nuisance so they do stay in uh, around the single single beehive especially in between the topping cover so they like to stay there so, yeah they enjoy yeah they they basically live there they breed there and also, from time to time, they will go to the entrance, eat the single bee. Uh, but not as uh, as aggressive like a toad or, or frog. Frog is quite aggressive. But a sing, uh, lizard, gecko, they can climb. They can climb on walls and surface, right? Uh, but toad, they cannot. They, they have to. They have to jump, basically. Okay, so if they uh, and also like uh, ants, ants especially uh, from time to time in the night you visit, but yeah, of course you have to be careful and uh, use uh, uh, your torchlight, okay, and look for or uh, use anything like for lighting to um, uh, navigate yourself to the hive, and then uh, sometimes especially at, at the night. And attack hive. I do that from time to time lah. Basically, this ants bait is used to exterminate the ants colony that comes to the hive at night. Uh, in my experience, the ants is basically trying to make nests around the hive or sometimes inside the hive but uh, they will never live in the same section whereas the stingless bee will defend their hive and will not allow that to happen but as the ants colony is growing so they will become big and the stingless bee colony may collapse and run away so as you can see here the ants is taking away the baits and some of them are consuming it so this is in the morning all the baits has gone and had been taken away by the ants colony so you, you can see the sign of attack when the tunnel or the tube is closed so when there's attack the colony will seal the entrance, the entrance. yeah that's that is actually a sign of attack okay so you have to uh, look for that signs okay especially at night but larger predator is harder for them to manage okay and then also uh, how do you how do you identify or detect degradation or 
uh, uh, colony that become weaker from the number number of flying in and flying out hive uh, singles bee in a minute. So this one you have to observe. You sit you sit at the don't don't sit uh, against the tube on the side, and then you look. They fly out. I mean, you count how many fly out and fly in in a minute. Okay, a strong colony has around forty to seventy fifo fly in, fly out. That's good, okay, strong. Okay, strong colony. Not so strong, less than that. So you have to save them. You have to take measures. And also the tube may be an indicator. The tube, if it is not moist, is it is not fresh, moist means that it's not rubbery, it's not bright in color. So it, let's say it's it's become grayish, and then and then the the the, the it become uh, brittle. It's not fresh, it's not rubbery like propolis that you touch just now. Okay, it become brittle. When you when you touch the tunnel, it break. So that is a sign of weakness. I mean, the 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 colony is uh, falling or failing. Okay. So there are a few steps lah you you can do, like for example, uh, giving a set of new brood cell to the degrading hive, or another step you can do you swap. Swap. Like I said, you, let's say you have two hive. So if let's say this is become weaker, so you swap. Swap at the night. So in the morning, this one is strong. When they go out, they will return. But you have swap. You understand? You have swap the hive. So they 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 will remember where the location of the hive the original hive so more bee will come back to the weaker okay and then the strong one they will maintain lah the 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 uh, level of health uh, i mean so so uh, they they then they, they can reproduce new worker for the 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 hive that you swap okay the, you you do swapping Okay, that's one one method.